Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interest. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available Live Breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, 3, or 6 p.m. Central Time any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. I am your host, Dominic Pellegrini, alongside my producer, Brandon P. Diddy Combs. You like that one? Yeah, I do. I, I love it. That's my uncle. <laughs> um, I, he, I actually denounced him, though, once I found out that he was he was touching his producers. So. Okay, well, hey. Yeah. I don't know if that's a segue, but hey, we got some heat in the break room today <laughs> on this Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. Conference tournament week. Yes. Feels good. The tournament. Yes. My pick of the afternoon, Purdue, Wisconsin, over 143.5. Ooh. I like that. Okay. That pick is hot. Hot like what we have in the break room. We got a can't miss series coming up. We have a jersey coming up. A bla- excuse me, a black and blue coming up. Not a can't miss. A yeah. black and blue coming up. You guys really want that spot and that Randy Moss giveaway, that sp- speed flex. I'm looking at it right now. That thing is absolutely sharp. Yeah, Patriots yes. and Vikings speed flex for the Randy Moss. But, Brandon, you know me. I'm impatient. We got pre-fills? Yeah. I have to get to it. Let's do it, man. Like it, it, it's uh, selection weekend. Mm-hmm. We're going to find out what the brackets look like. We're going to be able to fill out brackets. Uh, do you do any uh, uh, bracket uh, I, pools? I, I at least do one. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I I do a couple, but my favorite one is is one with a bunch of friends of mine that they do where it's um, – so you, there's 32 of us in it, mm-hmm. and you each get a team. And if your team goes in as the underdog – and your team covers the spread, you steal the higher seed from that person. Wow. Yeah. I like that. It's, it's really... So if you do it, you get randomized your team. So if you get a 16 seed, uh-huh. but they cover the spread, all of a sudden you steal the one. I like that. That's, yeah. There you go. It, it's a lot of fun. And now we're seeing more 16 seeds. They're keeping it close. We had a couple win. Yeah. But now keeping it close, we're totally yeah. not out of it. I like that. Here yeah. we go, guys. Six or higher in the dice row. That's not going to get it done. Three's not going to get it done. Let's go again. There we go. You're, you're filling in for respin, Robbie. So you got to respin it. <laughs> seven, seven it is. Seven on the dice row day. Let's see what we are chasing and see if that's updated. Diamonds, yep. One and four, yep. Can't miss. Well, yep, yep, yep. All good, all good. Let's go, guys. The chase for the Saturday noon show. Who's with me? Quiet in the chat right now. Fourteen people. If you're with us right now, make some noise in the chat. If you are in that black and blue mixer. There we go. That's diamonds, a nice. Baby. That's a nice chase right there. The diamonds. We got the little clap. Ooh. There we go. Got the got mute. some got some sound on. Uh huh. Got that's, that got that little uh, studio audience applause. That's that's you know what? <laughs> I got the volume. I thought I had it off, but for the the chase being the diamonds, we got to get a little. It deserved it deserved a clap. It deserved a clap. Yeah, there's yeah. golf this weekend. A little yeah. golf clap. Yeah. All right, guys. It's like my ex-wife. It deserved the clap. <laughs> no. I never met her, but uh, <laughs> can't say I know her. All right. 
<laughs> All right, I have Zachary, Stephen, Mark, Robert, Phil, Justin. What's going on, everybody? Black and blue mixer. This is a quad box? It is a quad box, oh, black oh. and blue. You guys know what you're Wait for it. It's in the chat. <laughs> what a way to start the show. All right, guys, send the chat. Drop me four box numbers for black and blue quad box number one. Zachary, Steven, Mark, Robert, Phil, Justin. What's up, Joe? What's up, Chronic? Chris, what's going on? Happy Saturday, Chris. Chronic Funk's in the room. boy. Mm-hmm. You know, Brandon, he likes his Chronic. You know, just funk. Like, like Snoop. Chronic Funk. I like you like your chronic funky. Uh huh. Robert says two, eight, nine, and fifteen. Two, Let eight, me check. Nine and fifteen. Should be good. Black and blue, right? Black and blue, yes, sir. We have two. All right, that's off the ticker. Let me get that off. Eight and nine, yes, sir. And fifteen. And fifteen. Thank you, Robert. Let me move these up here, sir. Thank you, wise man. Hey, no problem. No problem. All right, copy and paste. Take you guys to the randomizer. Seven times is the number today. We are four spots away in the next Can't Miss Mini in Jersey. There we go. Four spots away in the Can't Miss Mini in Jersey. Six away in the next Mini Double Break. Everything else pretty wide open. Mm -hmm. And for that Can't Miss, still two entries for the rep giveaway, that double box break rep giveaway, yeah. Bradshaw, Favre. Two entries still in that can't miss, guys. Six boxes left, two entries. What is that, three entries for the... Yeah, the black and blue. Three yeah. entries left for the Randy Moss Speed Flex, guys. Yep. Let's get it. Here we go, seven times. Good it's luck, everybody. Too, it's too bad that Brett Favre didn't come on a Minnesota Viking. No, though. it's not. Cut it out. I mean, <laughs> Cut it out. It would have been just much better if it was on the Viking. You know what triggers me, and that's what does it, all right? So enough. <laughs> Here we go. Last click. All right, there it is. You guys see where you lined up? Copy and paste and put you in your respective divisions. NFC North, where the Brett Favre and the Packers were king my entire life. Brett Favre and the Vikings were pretty good, too. Yeah, well, they never won a Super Bowl. Well, sorry, Vikings fans, <laughs> but I can't help myself. Uh... All right, Robert, NFC North. Steven, NFC South. Zachary, NFC East. Justin, NFC West. Mark Stoner, the AFC North. Zachary Wright, the AFC South. Robert, the AFC East. And Phil, the AFC West. The Favre and the Bradshaw on the drawing are full-size reps, right? You are correct, Chris. That is correct. Full-size reps. They are the ones in the photo for the uh, can't miss. Yeah, they made them look like minis, but yeah. they are full-size. Full-size. Look at them right now. Start off with box number two. Go in numerical order. Box number two, black and blue football mixer. Quad box. A quad box to start off the weekend. I like it. Yeah. Can't wait. Mm-hmm. I'm like Bart Scott. Can't wait. Can't wait. Mm-hmm. And then when we get the can't miss, we do can't miss. Wait. See? Pretty good, right? That was pretty good. You're mad you just think of it. We go Randy Moss style. You got missed. <laughs> See? Yeah, like see, that. that's better, ain't it? Yeah, well, see? I like, I can't, I can't miss. <laughs> I like that better. My personal preference. That's why I asked, they all look the same, thought they were, okay, good question. Yeah, no, absolutely. Here we go. It looks like we do have a mini right here. There this we is go. A mini. I bet you heard that a lot in your life. I have. Yeah. See? I'm Irish. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Absolutely. Yeah. There we go. Let's see what we have here. We have ourselves a headliner Dan Marino mini on the flash. Look how beautiful this flash Dolphins helmet looks. Oh, yeah. Robert. Robert Albrecht? I think that's how you say it. Dan Marino, AFC East, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. On one of the great helmets of all time, that Dolphins flash helmet. I like that. Nice, yeah. says Chris. Robert says, let's go. I've been chasing that. Love the hair it. Love the hair it, Robert. This is sick. Woo. He also goes ahead of Joe Montana on my all-time list, but only because Joe Montana said it himself that he was better than he was. So since Joe Montana says Dan Marino was better than him, he says Dan Marino is the go, which I can't 
get with him on that. Yeah, I'm going to trust... But he does go on my all-time list over Joe Montana, though. If Joe Montana says it, he knows a thing about quarterbacks, so I would I, trust his opinion. I mean, I, I trust his opinion, but I just disagree with it. Okay. I, I don't consider him the GOAT, but I, I do have him third on my list, Dan Marino. And now he's, he's right behind... Um, Jordan Love? No, yeah. He's right behind Patrick Mahomes now. Okay. He was he was second. Now he's third. There you go. Robert says solid. Chris says sharp. Absolutely. Woo! This is sick. Yeah, I like those. I can guarantee you, Dan Marino, the only quarterback in this room right now who is in an Ace Ventura movie. Yeah. That's a Pellegrini guarantee. Is, is there, so we were having this conversation yesterday with Alex. Is there one helmet that this is where the NFL does a great job? Is there one helmet in any series where you're just like, yeah, I don't like the way that looks? I don't think there is. Ooh. I like like just about all of them are good. I mean, somebody did say the Browns flash is kind of mad. I like those, and, and, and I kind of I like, like the it's brown, right? Right. Yeah. yeah, I like those. But I could get with more like um, I think the Browns would do a better job if instead of putting the word Browns across their customs, mm-hmm. if they put the elf on the customs. I like that elf. Did the moss come out? No, Alex. The moss. The moss is a giveaway. It's a ten spot top uh, top spot giveaway in the black and blue. So we have three spots left for that entry spot for the Randy Moss. So yeah, nope. it's random giveaways. They come out with a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. If you win the the uh, piece of memorabilia that comes out, then you just like uh, same thing with like a gift card or a wheel spin or anything like that that we do in our giveaways. It's the same type of deal. Mm-hmm. And we don't do that drawing even if all ten. Names do come out. We don't do that drawing until that series is completely closed out. Mm-hmm. And it's the same strategy as uh, the chase. We put your name in the randomizer, top name, after seven times a day. Right. Gets the Randy Moss. Here we go, box eight. Box eight, black and blue. Maybe we have one of those little golden tickets in here. I don't know what the, we call them. I don't want to call them a piece of paper. I got the golden ticket. There we go. The golden ticket. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for joining in again. Appreciate you. Bad news. Terrible news. No such thing as bad news. There's no just gold. bad people that bring news. There's no golden ticket. No. Okay. Good news. Robert's got another headliner. Oh man. It's Jay Jettas. Jettas. Justin Jefferson himself. Robert. Have yourself a break. We got still two boxes to Heck go. Yeah. And Robert has Dan Marino and Justin Jefferson. Two headliners off the board already. I like it. There you go, Robert. Woo! Dan Marino, Justin. Imagine those two playing together. If you're going to be on fire, the time to be on fire is when we're pulling headliners. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Yes, sir. Let's do the... Hold up. What's the... I always forget to do this. I always forget to do this. Watch. Fire! 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 Sorry. Oh, it looks like the helmet's on fire. No. There, but that's headliner fire. Oh, man, this is amazing start, says Robert. You got it. I'll, I'll extinguish that fire. There we go. Apparently, I'm in the mini helmet king. Won five yesterday. Well, that'll do it. You won yes. five minis yesterday, two today. And not just two today. Marino Jefferson. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty good, I would say. But like I was saying, imagine Dan Marino and Justin Jefferson playing together in today's football. Jesus. I know Dan Marino. He had some good receipts. Where, where you can't hit Dan Marino? Uh-huh. I mean, Dan, guys like Dan Marino and Joe Montana would have a field day if they didn't have to worry about getting hit. Absolutely. And with the, now, the more passing, the schemes, the concepts of the game. You know, when they were playing the game, it was more run first, Dan Marino was more. He was a pass-first guy. Montana, yeah. though, run first. I would love to see Montana stats and Marino stats in today's game. Right. But there you go. Justin Jefferson, Purple Ink, Lunar Vikings. Absolutely sick. Former Offensive Player of the Year. Injuries this year. People forget how good Justin Jefferson was. He's well, a dog. If he's not your number one receiver in football, he's your number two. Absolute stud. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing over there at, um, you know, with... JSA Surfing. We're going to trade up for a quarterback. Yeah, with their quarterback position, but... Trade up. Or, or are they trading Jettas? Ooh. Well, they just got another first-round pick. And uh, good move for them. All they had to shoot basically played a second-round pick this year and a second-round pick next year yeah. for the 23rd pick. This kind of makes me think... 
Buffalo did that a few years ago in the Josh Allen draft, yeah. where they were getting first round picks just so they could trade up to get a quarterback. Right. I don't know where Minnesota is going to trade up. I don't know if they're going to wait till draft day and see what quarterbacks there are going to pull San Francisco and just be like, we're going to trade up the third. There was a rumor that they're going after Fields as well. I somebody asked me how would you feel if Fields went to Minnesota. Uh, you've heard of Mrs. O'Leary's cow, right? Yes. Started the Chicago Fire. Yes. Um, that would be me at Hallis Hall if they trade Justin Fields to Minnesota. Why? I will burn that motherfucker down. Well, the Bears will go two and zero every year. I, if he's there. Look, I would wait though until until after. Like, I'd probably give it two years before I burn it down. Don't you want to beat Minnesota twice next year? Fox die and the black. <laughs> All right. Marino was the best pure passer of all time, and I hate saying that. Yeah. Marino was the man. Yes. I got to get me a damn Marino. I, lo- I love the the retro Dolphins jerseys, not the two retro, like the ones from the 90s. I if love- if you had to compare one quarterback right now to Dan Marino, who would you think is the closest to him? Dan Marino? Yeah. I, I'm going Joe Burrow, and I don't even have to think about it. Joe Burrow. That's... He is a very good. Person. I would even go like Tom Brady for Joe Burrow or like uh, Joe Montana, just like cool yeah. under. I mean, I, that sounds stupid comparing someone to Tom Brady, right. but the game, well, the yeah. pocket, like pocket just being a pure, pure pocket passer. Yeah. Hey now! Oh, somebody's getting a spot for Randy. Someone's got a golden ticket. We're about to find out who. Who's got the golden ticket? There you go. That means after this one, two entries left. That Randy Moss B flex. Here we go. We're about to find out. Can it be Robert again? Can Robert go three for three? So we got breaking news from Adam Schefter. You ready for this? I'm ready. Chargers have re-signed quarterback Easton Stick. Whoa! <laughs> Justin Herbert, you're out. <laughs> you're gone. Easton Stick is sticking around in San Diego. Congrats. He's the one guy that they're re-signing. Congrats. <laughs> they got no wide receivers left. That's why they traded Keenan Allen. Had to make the money up for <laughs> They've got Easton, Easton Stick. Stick. All right, here we go. Who's going to get that spot for Randy Moss and a mini helmet? It is... Jonathan Ogden on the Ravens flash. Hall of Fame lineman. One of the best drafts of all time, the 1995 draft, just his first round. Jonathan Ogden, Ray Lewis for the Ravens. Ozzie Newsome, Hall of Fame tight end Ozzie Newsome, Hall of Fame general manager. Jonathan Ogden, yes. one of the best offensive linemen of all time. A Super Bowl champion on the Ravens. When you think of Ravens, you think of defense, how the defense carried him. You well, know. there was one guy on the offense who was producing every single year. He was just a lineman, and that was yeah. Jonathan Ogden. Yeah. Awesome helmet. Jonathan Ravens. Ogden was a beast. I mean, one of the best to ever do. I know a lot of people talk about Anthony Munoz. Mm-hmm. I think Jonathan Ogden's right up there on that list with guys like that because, I mean, he's just he was he was Mister Consistent um, on the offensive line. You could count on him week in and week out. Mm-hmm. Uh, never really dealt with too many injury issues, anything like that. He was just he was a consistent force on your offensive line. And not that as a Bears fan, I know anything about consistent forces on an offensive line, but Jonathan Ogden was one of them. Absolutely. I love these Ravens flash helmets. Two flash helmets today, the uh, Dolphins and the Ravens. Yeah. Two of them, they're in my top three, the Ravens and the Dolphins. The, the I, flashes are nice. Um, the new STSs, to me, are... The way that the logos this, blend in on mm-hmm. the STSs are, are Is it a ridiculous. desert camo this year? Yeah. 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 But there we go. Those are... I, all these helmets really are... If you had to pick one... For any helmet where a team has to wear during the game. It could be mm-hmm. one game, and they have to wear this. It could be a salute to service. It could be a flash, a lunar, or eclipse. And this is a question for the chat as well. Any helmet, any different variation, you had to pick one team to wear it. I'm going with the Tennessee Titan Flash helmet. It has, like, the Houston Oiler vibes. Oh, yeah. I love it. And I think it'll look nice with their uniforms. Yeah, the Tennessee Titan ones are nice. Um, God, there's so many that the, the um the Dallas Cowboys. Those are nice. Those ones are nice. You gotta keep in mind they have to wear the uniform yeah. with them as well. Mark Stoner, Mark Stoner. Not only did you get that Jonathan Ogden mini, but you got a spot in that Randy Moss. Congratulations. Let me write your name out here. At a boy, Mark. At a boy. We'll add you to the break sheet. Two more spots remaining, guys. Two more spots remaining for those Randy Moss Speed Flex. What is it? Thirty-one dollars for a single spot in that can- uh, black and blue. Yeah. Thirty-one dollars, and you have a chance of a Randy Moss, Randy Speed, Moss Flex. Speed Flex. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'm not saying. I mean, I uh, 
Matt Matt Salas. I I would have paid thirty one dollars for that if you want. I mean, I would if I had it. I mean, it's a lot of money. Thirty one dollars. <laughs> you gotta talk to your boss see if you get paid more. Yeah. <laughs> not not so much getting paid more. I gotta stop losing in March Madness. That's the problem. There you go. It's not the pay. It's losing in March Madness. I'm getting killed. Is Mahomes still in the diamonds? No, he is not. Adam Mahomes went fast. Yep. Yeah. Troy Palomalu, Adrian Peterson, Steve Young, C.D. Lamb, Troy Aikman, and George Kittle are left in the diamonds. Here we go. The final box. Black and blue. Fifteen guys. Box fifteen. Here we go. The last box of the quad. Jonathan Ogden? No, he wasn't a headliner, right? I mean, he could be. He's a Hall of Famer, one of the best players at his position. Yeah, no, not a headliner. I was going to say, almost three for three on headliner. I mean, he could be. Your uh, co-producer on Sundays would be upset that Jonathan Ogden, not a headliner, because he loves his offensive lineman. That's true. That's true. Uh-oh, let's see what we have here. Here we go. You guys ready? It is going. All right, I got it now. We have ourselves a football sign by one of the best to ever do it, John Elway. Number seven, this sick signed football. Wow. Check it out. Here we go. There's the... Oops, sorry. <laughs> I fumbled. There's the... What's wrong with it? It's got a little... There's yeah, a little mark a little right, it. Rip right there. But you get the signature side. Signature side looks good, perfect. That's awesome. You put it on display. There you go. John Elway. It's going up. Phil! Nice hit, Phil! The John Elway football. One of the reasons why Brett Favre only has one Super Bowl instead of two. <laughs> And if you're wondering why, it's right here on this football. It's got the stats on there. you got the Super Bowl logos, Super Bowl accomplishments. It's actually not even just the Super Bowls that John Elway won. It's got the Super Bowl 50 logo as well. So all the Broncos Super Bowls represented on there. And check out the logo on the football, too. It's like a jersey. Uh, yeah, it's material. got that. Yeah. Jersey. It's material. like a uh, stitched logo. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Daniel Kyler said, fumble. I got Butterfingers, uh, Daniel. Butterfingers. Peanut Tillman in the room. Josh Jacobs in the room. I, oh. Watch it. What happened? Watch it. The new best running back in football, Josh Jacobs. They, they, they uh, let go of one running back and signed the exact same running back to a longer deal. Oh, the younger one. The younger one. Yeah, by, by what, like a year? No, uh, Jones is 30. I think Jacobs is 26. Yeah. Hey, that was a tough one. Aaron Jones, I love Aaron Jones. But when it's time to go, it's time to go. And... <laughs> and he went to where all Packers careers go to die. Minnesota? Yeah. <laughs> That's where it's at. Justin Fields goes there. They win a Super Bowl. We're both angry. <laughs> all right. I got a question for the chat. Question for you while I write this up. John Elway or Dan Marino? Dan Marino. All right. Why is that? Uh, I, I think... If I'm building a team over the next 20 years and I'm taking either one of them in their prime, I want Dan Marino. All right. I like it. If you're building a team named after a horse, though, like the Broncos, you have to have John Elway because if you look closely... he looks like the logo? He does look like the logo. So if I'm the Broncos, I'm picking Elway. Okay. Yeah. But, oh, hey, two-time Super Bowl winner John Elway. Way to keep it dramatic. Way to his last What's two... Last two years in football. Well, they say that uh, sometimes uh, uh, pets start looking, or owners start looking like their pets or something. Yeah. It's kind of like John Elway starts looking like his logo. <laughs> he's got those, uh, not to critique anybody, but he's got those uh, big teeth. Yeah, those big pearly whites. Yeah, congrats to Elway. He's got, you know, good orthodontist. He's got nice teeth. Yeah. I'm sure that's the... <laughs> That's the, you know, analyst you're... He's got a Sawzall for a toothbrush, but... That's the analyst you're going to get when you're, yeah. when you're watching our show. Yeah. Nice teeth. You won't get no touch on pass stats or anything <laughs> nice, like that. His teeth. Nice teeth. His teeth. That's about it. All right. That's the black and blue. Justin Jefferson, Jonathan Ogden, Dan Marino, John Elway. Yeah. Three Hall of Famers, one future Hall of Famer. Pretty good to start off the show, guys. It's a pretty good quad box break right there. Absolutely. And somebody got a spot in the Moss. 
There you go. We are now two spots away in the next mini. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And we are five spots away in the next black and blue quad. Mm Mm-hmm. Guys are loving those black and blue quads. Uh, Bettis, Dak Prescott, and DK Metcalf. That's what's available in the can't miss. He used barbed wire to floss, says Bob Boulay. <laughs> John Elway. Barbed wire to floss, yeah. Mm-hmm. He used a Sawzall to brush his teeth. <laughs> Elway's catching strays, man. Shout out to John Elway, Hall of Fame quarterback. Catching strays in his teeth. Mm-hmm. Drop me a box number for jersey number one. <laughs> Shout out John Elway, two-time Super Bowl champion. No offense, John. You took the Super Bowl away from my favorite team. So, Super Bowl 32. Zach says box two. Just beat him. Just beat Robert by point zero one second. Box two? Box two in the jerseys. Thanks, Puffy. Hey, no problem. I don't like the fact that I'm the producer today, and now you're calling me Diddy after what he did with his producers. I don't know what you're getting at there, but I I'm did, not that kind of guy. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> you thought about that. I didn't think about that. All right, here we go. Seven times. Without my guy, Brady would have nine. Eli, that's right, Bob. 100%. Brady would have nine. Here we go. Super Final Super click. Super Imagine having nine Super Bowls. Imagine going to ten. <laughs> Not only did Eli beat Brady those years, taking two away from Brady, he beat the Packers to get to Brady. Yeah. In the divisional round. So, yeah. credit to him. Really good playoff runs. Yeah. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky. I love I love Eli. All right, guys. See where you lined up. Put you in your respective divisions for jersey break number one. Jerome Bettis, Antonio Gates, Jason Taylor, Michael Vick, Debo Samuel, DJ Moore, Warren Sapp, still available from the photo list, secondary list, Corey Dillon, Ricky Waters, and Mercury Morris. Perfect Mercury team. Mercury Morris, Perfect baby. team Dolphins. Where's my Dolphins fans at? Let me move this up a little bit so we can see it. There we go. Does uh, Mercury Morris pop champagne if he's the last box pulled? That's true, right? He pops the when the last undefeated team loses, they have like a little yeah. party or something, yeah. like a little get together. So if he's the last box pulled, do we do we do champagne in, in honor? You got the champagne on you. I can go get some. All right, All we'll right. see. We'll All see. Right. Chronic says Diddy is a weird dude. That's for sure. I agree. I don't know why Brandon Coben keeps calling himself that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Box two. Robert, the NFC North. Zachary, the NFC South. Jeffrey, the NFC East. Zachary, the NFC West. Jeffrey, the AFC North, Robert, the AFC South, and the AFC East, and Michael, AFC West. Keep talking like that. You're going to have to go see Ellie's dentist. <laughs> I might need you anyways. <laughs> I got a little gap. Uh, I paid. I just got done paying for my ortho, uh, my uh, Invisalign. Next three years of paying for monthly. Feels good. Get rid of it. There you go. Here we go. And now I got to go again after I get my Elway. Uh, <laughs> Box two, guys. Good luck. Valerie's checking in. What's going on, Valerie Proventure? Here we go. A former defensive rookie of the year, Sean Merriman. Merriman. There you go on the beautiful powder blue Chargers jersey. This guy's first three years in the league, unbelievable. Injury yes. stopped his career short, but when he was healthy, he was an absolute monster on those Philip Rivers Chargers teams. Some Absolutely. very low-key good teams those Chargers had. Sleeper teams that just you know lost to the New England in the playoffs. The Phillip Rivers played when his torn ACL. Some yep. fun teams. Sean Merriman, nice hit right here. Defensive rookie of the year going to Michael. AFC West hit. Michael Maru, you you uh closer's magic right there. Mm-hmm. Closer's magic's a real thing. Nice hit right there. Beckett certified as well, Michael. Powder blue coming your way. Now I think Sean Merriman uh after football. Did a little uh, test in the MMA world. I really? Know, I don't know how it worked out for him. If you guys remember, Shab- he tried to do MMA after football. I don't remember that. Yeah. I don't think it went well because I didn't hear too much about it. Most athletes that try to do MMA after don't do not do very well. You know who was, you know, maybe not the, probably not the best person in the world. Definitely not the best person in the world, but was in the UFC for quite a while, was Greg Hardy. Yeah. He actually had a couple fights and, yeah. you know, he's not... Not a likable person, Greg Hardy, but... Brock Lesnar 
also not a likable person, but yeah, had a, uh, a won a championship in the UFC. Yes, he did, and he had a cup of coffee while well, preseason with Minnesota. Yeah, the Vikings. Yep. He's in a yeah. CM Punk tried UFC. Tried it. And he got, got beat. Got murdered mm-hmm. in it and went back to WWE. Yeah, I know a lot of fo- you see a lot of football players. They're uh, boxing nowadays too. We had the yeah. Le'Veon Bell. Uh, who did they're, who's they're Le'Veon? all boxing. Adrian Jake Peter- Paul. A- yeah, but then Le'Veon uh, fought uh, Adrian Peterson. Livni knocked him out. Really? Yeah, Le'Veon Bell. There's like, people say that he's actually a pretty good boxer. Yeah. Where he wants to go pro. Well, I mean, you know, if, if you're if you're fighting Adrian Peterson, and as long as he's not using a, a switch, um, and you're not eight years old or four years old, you can you can fight him back. <laughs> Adrian Peterson in the diamonds, baby. In the diamonds. One of the best running backs of all time, Adrian Peterson, no doubt about it. For when, sure. When he was at Oklahoma, I remember even watching as a kid. I was a kid. I'm like, this isn't fair. He should be in the pros. He does not look like a teenager Right. when he was at Oklahoma. Write this up for Michael. Then we have a can't miss coming up. Maybe someone's going to get one of those spots for those uh, reps. The double box break rep giveaway. Need a closer in the uh, minis. Who's going to be my John Franco? Ooh, John Franco. Shout out New York Mets. Me and Alex were going back and forth yesterday. Every time we needed a closer, we would try to outdo each other with who could name the rarest closer. Ooh, I like that. Who was the rarest one? Um, I think I put him away with um, uh, Rob Dibble. Ooh, bad boy. I think that's when he tapped out. He's like, all right, I got nothing left. Philly, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Valerie Proventure, Rob Dibble of the Reds. Red, okay. Yeah. Big red machine. Mm-hmm. I remember Rob Dibble when he was working for Baseball Tonight. Yeah. That was my, uh, when he was co- a lot more calmed down than the, the mullet days. Uh. The mullet days, mm-hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, can't miss coming up. I have Kevin, I have Austin, I have Chris, and Thomas. All righty. Just filled up that mini. Valerie Proventure came in to be the John Franco. Shout out, Valerie. We'll give you that save. Give you that save for sure. Mm -hmm. Box 19, Chris says, for the can't miss. Thank you, Chris. 19 off the board. The Joe Montana on the Chiefs number. Joe Montana on the Chiefs. Uh Uh-huh. And for my hockey fans out there, Jonathan Taves. There There you go. go. Chicago. Jonathan Tate. Some Chicago love. All right. That's off the ticker. Let me copy and paste the names and take you guys to the randomizer. Seven times. Here we go. Johnny Taves. Johnny Taves, the captain. Here we go. Final click, guys. It was the only odd number left. It was bugging me. <laughs> oh, hey. Good strategy. Copy and paste. All right. Thomas, NFC North. Kevin, NFC South and the NFC East. Chris, the NFC West. Kevin, the AFC North. Thomas, the AFC South. Austin, the AFC East. And Thomas, the AFC West. What's going on, guys? Here we go. Box 19. Can't miss. Do we have a golden ticket in here? Golden ticket. Mm-hmm. Sing it every time you say it. There you go. I'm used to my producer singing. Here we go. The last odd number left. I like this strategy. That's what Chris said. He said it was bugging him. That's why he picked it. There we go. This is a good strategy. Right? Mm-hmm. It was a good strategy because guess what's in it? A golden a, ticket. A golden ticket is in it. So there we go. That means only one more spot left. Yes. Here we go, guys. Oh, yeah. We have ourselves a 2,000-yard rusher. Chris Johnson, CJ2K, 
Look at this. This is sick. What kind of... What would you say this helmet is? Variation. This is nice. I think it's just their, their throwback. It could be a Flash. Right? I don't think... No, their Flash is... Uh, it's it's like a, a baby blue. I think that's just an old school Titans. Yeah, one. this looks slick. I like this. Yeah. It kind of looks like a little silver with you know, a little blue. Nice. AFC South. That's Thomas. Thomas, nice win right there. Not only are you getting that Chris Johnson CJ2K... But you just got yourself a spot in that double box break giveaway for the Favre and the Bradshaw. Nice hit right here. I listened to a podcast with Taylor Lowen, uh, former offensive lineman, Tennessee Titan, or Will Compton. He said Chris Johnson was the one of the most talented running backs he ever played with. He just never worked out a day in his life. That's how good he was. 2,000-yard rusher in a season, never worked out. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Thomas Kohlenberg again. That is, again, closer's magic. Thomas closed that out? Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. That's an Eric Air Gagne type closer. Pulled Eric Gagne in the one and four on Thursday. Sweet. There you go. It was sweet. Eric Gagne in the one and four series. A Cy Young winner. Not even a headliner. I love Eric Gagne. Mm -hmm. That's just all these series, though. You could pull out a Cy Young Award winner in the one and four and just not know about it because he's not even a headliner. Right. You get so obsessed with the headliner names that some of these, the bonus banger, the and more section, whatever you want to call them, I pull some of these out and I'm like, how? Like, what? They're not a headliner? Yeah. So. But oh well, Thomas. Nice hit right here. Chris Johnson was uh, in his prime when I first started really, really becoming obsessed with like fantasy football. Like when fantasy football started really taking off as a thing. Yeah. Chris Johnson, that was when he was in his prime. And he was a first round, uh, one of those guys you always wanted to draft in the first round. Right. There you go. Got it certified. Nice hit, Thomas. Who, if, if I said, hey, give me a rare closer. What's your go-to? Oh, man. See, now I'm on the spot. I'm, like, nervous thinking about it. Billy Koch? Ooh, there you know. go. There you go. Me, I'm cheating because he was on the White Sox. But he yeah, was the closer but... on Oakland before he was on the White Sox. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's I just true. love Billy Koch. He had that soul patch. <laughs> the soul patch. He had the soul patch. That's funny. Craig Kimbrell? Ugh. You know, Chris, I'm a White Sox fan. You can see by my sweater... Craig Kimbrell was an absolute mess on the White Sox. That name gives me, <laughs> doesn't give me a uh, great. He's like one of those guys where if he's on one team, yeah. he's lights out. But if he goes to, if he gets traded, he's absolutely terrible. Like he loses like his momentum. But then he gets traded again and he's lights out again. Yeah. What about Tom Hankey? Tom, he's a. Uh, um, you ever do you play MLB the Blue Show? Jay. You play MLB the Show? Yes. Always one of the Diamond Dynasty higher rank closers yeah. to get Tom. Yeah. That's why I know Tom him. Hankey. Yep. John Wetland. You got me there. New York Yankees you got in the me. 90s. You got me there. Keith Folk. Keith Folk is a good one. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what did I say? Uh, Dan Quisenberry. Dan Qu Jason Isenhausen. Was he a starter? He was, but I also think he was a closer, too. I think he was one of those starters who finished off as a closer. Cardinal, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know you probably don't have any... Uh... Who do you hate more, the Packers or the Cardinals? Cardinals. Cardinals? 100%. Ooh. There we go. We got some closers. Ked Krimble, Dennis Eckersley, Mariano Rivera. The chicken wing post Kimbrell does in his stretch annoys the living hell out of me. <laughs> Trust me, Chris, when he's on your team and his ERA is 7, it annoys you a lot more too. <laughs> so, Chris, those are good I, names, but they're not really rare. I'm talking about like like names you don't hear all the time, like Hoyt Wilhelm. Yeah. You know? Go south. Um... Yeah, you talk about guys like, uh, like uh, what was his name with that big mustache? Doug Jones. Mm. Those types of guys are, are more what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? We, we could go all day with, like, you know, K-Rods and, and Mariano Rivera's and Trevor Hoffman's and, and those types of guys. BP Maine, 5 and 15. That's Valerie, right, Valerie? I just want to double check. I just want to confirm that's Valerie. Yes. All right. Thank you, Valerie. She can have closer magic and maybe box collar box magic. magic. I like it. She's going for double magic. Mm -hmm. Five fifteen. Tug McGraw. There you go. Another rare closer. Tug McGraw. All righty, get those boxes and then we'll copy. Yeah, I believe that's Tim McGraw's dad, isn't it? 
Is it? I believe so. My Tim McGraw trivia is not up to par, <laughs> if I'll be honest with you. So, 5 and 15? Yes. Right. Here we go, seven times. <laughs> my Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw trivia is not up to par. Yeah, it's not. I haven't studied my Tim McGraw trivia in a while. Here we go, final click. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Wow, it's like they gave me the wrong boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Nick, NFC North. Steven, the NFC South. Nick, the NFC East. Dennis, the NFC West. Valerie, the closer, the AFC North. Christina, the AFC South. Nick, the AFC East and Larry the AFC West. Crystal, so stupid. Better in heaven. For all this champion, our team is a closer. Might as well change the channel if he's pitching a close game. You know he'll lose it. Ooh. Mm hmm. Ooh. Mm hmm. I got no love for Craig Kimbrell. Sorry, Baltimore. Sorry, I feel sorry for the Orioles. Why? They're going to win 104 games and win that division. Yeah, and they should win 120 that he, uh, Kimbrell's going to blow. <laughs> got Adley Rushman. He's a stud. There you go. Five and fifteen. The mini. Trayvon Diggs, Justin Jefferson, DJ Moore, Ray Lewis. Hey, I already pulled one Justin Jefferson mini in the black and blue. Can we do it again in the mini series? There we go. Woo! Here's a future Hall of Famer. Frank Gore, running back on the San Francisco 49ers lid. There you go. Going to Dennis with the NFC West hit. Nice hit, Dennis. Frank Gore, third all-time in rushing yards? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I know a lot of people say, well, he played for a while. He played forever. Football, they only keep you around if you produce. He did play for a, a long time, but he is the uh, model of consistency. Yes. Um, every year I would pick him in the late rounds in my fantasy football draft just because I know if I needed him on a week, I could probably get a touchdown or two. He might only get four yards, but he's going to have a touchdown or yeah. two. And the whole thing about him playing well, he was still producing. Yes. It wasn't like they weren't doing him any favors. They don't do favors in football. You yeah. know, it's not, you know, it's, it's not show friends. Show no, business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I see it cutting. The Packers just caught one of my favorite beloved Packers of all time, Aaron Jones. So Frank Gore wasn't producing when he was 34, 35. Timo yeah. just said, hey, Frank, get lost. Exactly. No, he was producing. Yeah. Great running back. Nice hit, Dennis. Frank Gore. And it's nice that it's on his primary team. You know, Frank Gore played for a couple teams, you know, the Jets, the Colts, the Bills. It's nice that the lid's on the Niners. Some fun Niners teams where Jim Harbaugh was the coach. There were Frank Gore. Kaepernick was the quarterback. Alex Smith was the quarterback for a while. Crabtree. Those defenses were special. 2024 yeah. Hall of Fame inductee Patrick Willis. Woo. Those teams were loaded. I agree. We have a can't-miss double coming up. Thomas Kohlenberg coming in hot. There you go. Shout coming out Thomas. Hot. Thomas Cole. Here we go, box 15. Three days to drag it over now. It does take a while to drag it. When, it, when it's all the way back there, it does take a while. Yes. Here we go, box 15, guys. Midfield mini helmet series. Who's going to join Frank Gore? All righty. This is sick. This is nice. Hall of Famer, 88, Drew Pearson on the retro Cowboys Ooh. lid. Nick Martin, NFC East. Nice hit, Drew Pearson, the original 88. Now that's, you know, Cowboys thing. If you wear 88 as a receiver, that means you're the man in Dallas. You're yeah. a big deal. You got to produce. Drew Pearson started that trend. Nice hit right there. Happy that the man finally got in the Hall of Fame. Right. Really happy. Took way too long. Way too long for him to get in the Hall of Fame. Nice hit, says Valerie. Absolutely. Poor Valerie avoids the closer magic and the box caller magic. Hey, we're just getting started today. It's true. Just getting started. We're not done yet, Valerie. We're not done yet. We're just getting started. Keep playing. Can't win if you don't play. True. 
Drew Pearson, the original 88 for Dallas, Yes. Too. Mm-hmm. Drew Pearson, Michael Irvin, Des Bryant, he did not catch it, and then CeeDee Lamb. Yeah. Yep. Pretty good list right there. Drew Pearson, known for that uh, Hail Mary from Roger Staubach, too. Mm-hmm. If there's any Cowboys fans in the chat, let me know if there was ever a bad 88. Like, it just, like, you gave, I know you give 88 to players, wide receivers you think are going to excel. Yeah. You can't be four for four because the only ones I can recall are Pearson, Lamb, Irvin, and um, Bryant. Right. But the, are those the only four in that time period of being 88? I mean, I Where's think, Warrior he, Maynard? I think it has to, I think 88 is the jersey that has to be passed down by the guy who wore it previously. Okay. I believe that's how they do it. Okay. Because when C.D. Lamb got it, Michael Irvin passed it down to him. Okay. That makes sense. Because, yeah, if you, if the, I'm assuming if the Cowboys draft just a receiver in the first round, they'll be like, well, obviously we got to get him 88. Right. I mean, yeah. we have high expectations for the guy. Right. But I, I don't believe C.D. Lamb uh, had it his rookie year, did he? I'm not sure. I I'm gonna look at if William Maynard's in the room, he'd be able to let us know. I I do I do remember specifically though, Michael Irving, hang, Michael Irvin, handing it down to him. I do that too. So don't worry, <laughs> Michael Irvin. I'll look it up. There you go, Nick Martin, Drew Pearson, the OG, eighty-eight Hall of Famer. Don't you? Got sad like you every when they uh, do the Hall of Fame every year. Mm-hmm. And then they always have the cameras in Drew Pearson's home, and he yeah. never got the phone call. And it was like, come on. He's a Hall of Famer. Let the man in. Really happy that he finally got in. Took way too long. No, but... he was given the 88 his rookie year. CD? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. All righty. Got a can't-miss double coming up. Chris, Nick, Thomas. All right. Can't miss it. Double. Number one. Drop me two box numbers for can't miss double. Number one is in the chat. First two numbers I see, those are numbers we take. Give you guys a couple seconds. If not, once we go to that wheel, as soon as it comes up on the screen, any box numbers in the chat are excommunicado. Excommunicado. How excited are you for baseball season? Oh, I, whew, I can't wait. Me neither. 16 and 22, says Chris. Thank you, Chris. I watched uh, a little bit yesterday. At spring training, I could watch a few innings. Then after a while, it's like, all right. When, yeah. When the, but, uh, you know, I'm not too excited about my team. I'm just happy to have baseball back in general. I love watching baseball. Right. And I just love going to ball games. doesn't matter if my team stinks or not. I love taking in a ball game. You said 16 22? Yes, sir. Right. I had um, actually Alex Dreyer message me. It was funny. The other day, I was telling Common on this. Alex Dreyer messaged me and said, hey, do you think if we request that uh, you and Steven work on opening day um, because you guys are the baseball guys that they would let you guys do it? I said, if you request me to work opening day, I'm going to punch you in the throat. (laughs) (laughs) I'll be working opening day. I'm going to be watching baseball Uh in my underwear, in my basement, Mm -hmm. with with nachos and hot dogs. (laughs) I'll be here opening day, so lucky you. Yes. You want to switch? (laughs) No. Here if I go, was scheduled to work opening day, I'd be taking it off. Yeah, I love opening day. Here we go, though, guys. Final click. Here we go. My favorite game to go to is not opening day. It's the game after opening day because that game is completely mm. empty. Yep. And I love it. All right. Thomas, you have the entire NFC, the AFC North, and the AFC West. I'll repeat that. The entire NFC, the AFC North, and the AFC West. Chris, you have the AFC South. Nick, you have the AFC East. I know what Thomas Thomas wants at least, you know, NFC. He's got that down pat. Yes. So he knows he wins that. And he's got the West and the North. So. Chris Kohler and Nick Martin both looking for snipes on Thomas. Thomas. Mm-hmm. There's 22. We'll start off with box 16. Here we go. Can't miss Mixer. See if we got any spots. He knows if any of the headliners come out, they're going to Thomas. Mm-hmm. Thomas is in all the headliner divisions. There you go. That's how you play. That's, That's how you, you play. You play to win the game. There you go. Shout out Herm Edwards. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> is he still at Arizona State? 
Uh, no. No. Did no. not work out for him there? No. <laughs> Come on, Herb. I think they won like seven games in three years. Oh, man. <laughs> this one don't want to come out. They were not very good. Come on, you. There we go. Sometimes these are, they're so good, well, they just want to stay. They don't want to come out. They don't want to come out. But you have to. Because this, you said it. It's a headliner, and all the headliners go. Ooh, to Dak, baby. Dak Prescott on the mini amp. What would you say? This is an amp? A little mini yeah, amp? Yeah, that's an amp. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Dak Prescott. See his signature right there? Nice hit. Thomas. Dak Prescott. Say what you, I know the Cowboys, they are the most scrutinized team in football. Dak Prescott's the real deal. There's yeah, no I agree. Um, I think he's very, very, he gets a lot of unnecessary blame for a lot of the losses. Yeah. You know. Uh, a lot of unnecessary blame, but sometimes there's games where it's like, all right, Dak, we know you're capable of showing out and balling. Yeah. He yeah. Needs, it's, it, he needs to, like, win one of those playoff games on his own, have, like, a signature playoff W. He does not have that. It's the only thing bad in the Super Bowl, but still. yeah, I mean, for for the Cowboys this year in the uh, in the wild card round, you know they're like, oh, Dak Prescott, blah blah blah. They scored thirty two points. He threw for four hundred yards and three touchdowns. That defense was like, not the yeah. defense just wasn't good. Like mm-hmm. they gave up forty eight points. Like it's, I mean. But people are like, oh, Dak's got to go. Dak's got to go. No, the team's got to. He threw for 400 yards in the game. Yeah. Three touchdowns. He did throw two picks. Yeah. Dak is extremely underrated, Chris says. I like that. He's very underrated, mm-hmm. I believe. What about the, that is like, I watched that game. I'm a Packer fan. And I'm not just saying this I'm a Packer fan. The Cowboys were, they couldn't stop nothing in that game, that defense. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. There you are. I was looking for you. I've been here the whole time. Not you. Oh. Not you. Nobody's ever looking for me. Oh. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> what? When we start crying on air, we want to feel bad? Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Nobody loves me. Oh. Well, that's your problem. Maybe be nicer to people. No. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, that's. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Dak Prescott. All right. Thomas, can Thomas go two for two? He just needs an NFC or an AFC North or a West. Here we go. Got any, uh... You watch any, uh, little bit of the conference tournaments yesterday? For the basketball? Yeah, I was surprised by a few. I've been surprised all week, actually. I mean, the the conference tournaments have already been really, really good. Mm -hmm. Um, Mississippi State, how about that? Yeah, yeah. That was a that was a huge shock. Mm -hmm. I think it was funny because somebody had just asked me too, like, who who do you see winning the the tournament? I was like, oh, Tennessee's a team I can see winning. Then all of a sudden, (laughs) I'm like, oh, we do. We have a snipe. Ooh. We have a snipe. And it's going to go to Nick Martin oh, in wow. the Willie McGinnis jersey. On the Retro Patriots custom. Retro Patriots, baby. Uh-huh. The custom one. The one they wore in the 90s. Yeah. Uh-huh. The Drew Bledsoe days. Yeah. Willie McGinnis. Nice. That's a nice one. Going to Nick Martin. Way to go, Nick. Way to go. Nice hit. We do have another black and blue quad box coming up as well. well another quad box. There we go. To the black and a blue. Nick Martin. Thomas Kohlenberg wants some action. Thomas Cole. These are sweet. Absolutely sick. What do you think the Patriots... Uh, They gotta go back to the Patriot path though, right? I Yes. I've been saying that for a long time. The page, that is the best logo in the history of the NFL. Mm. I love the helmet. The helmet's awesome. Yes. The jerseys, the red jerseys are awesome. And I know they won a bunch of uh, Super Bowls with the helmets they have now and the jerseys that they have now. Mm-hmm. But come on. You guys know what your best look is. Yeah. They know what their best look is. And they're trying to do a new era in New England. The Brady era and the Belichick era is over with. Start fresh. Bring get, get some new uniforms. A lot of te- I'm hearing a couple teams this year are getting some new uniforms. 
the Broncos, the Jets, yeah, the Texans. Allegedly, the Jets are supposed to be um, just the retro ones that they wore this year. Mm -hmm. They're just supposed to be those, which are nice. Really nice. What headliners are left and they can't miss? Uh, Jerome Bettis and DK Metcalf. Only two headliners left and they can't miss. We have three boxes left. So, hey, three boxes left, two headliners. Pretty good ratio. Thomas Kohlenberg just bought out his own can't miss double. There you go. How many boxes left? Three boxes. Three boxes, so the double does not go back up, and we only have a single left then. Oh. Yes, sir. You have a black and blue quad box coming up. I'll write this out for Nick Martin. There you go. Nick, if you're in the chat, nice night, brother. Willie McGinnis. Yeah, a lot of, uh, yeah, we're just talking about Mississippi State with the upset yesterday in Tennessee. Duke losing previously, yeah. uh, the previous day. A lot of upsets. That's what the tournament's all about. I have no clue who's going to win it all, though. I like North Carolina, but I can never pick a March Madness winner. Right, yeah. I I actually, I really, I'm really high on UConn, too. Yeah, Tennessee and UConn are my two, but... I, it's the thing is that before the brackets come out, it's really hard to determine yeah. who you think is going to win because if they get a tough bracket, that changes everything. Yep, absolutely. And I don't really like taking uh, repeat champions. Yeah, that's my. Uh, I have no strategy behind it. I just don't like doing it because how, okay. how often do how often you see back to back? Yeah, not very often. But UConn, they're. They're good. They're good, man. Mm -hmm. They're was, really good. So watched them yesterday. I had their under yesterday. Uh, I knew that was over the first 10 minutes of the game. They weren't missing any shots. All right, black and blue quad box number two. Here we go. It's in the chat. Drop me four box numbers for black and blue quad box. Number two, DK Metcalf and Bettis. Yep, Chris. Yep. Lucky Locks. Ron says 29, 35, 40, and 21. All right. Saw Ron's numbers first. Thank you, Ron. Sorry about the cow. All good. All good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's the thing? Where's the... Oh, there you are. I couldn't find the black and blue for a little bit. All right. 29. 29's gone. 21. 35, 40. Alrighty. Thank you, Ron. Copy and paste. Put you guys in the randomizer. Seven times. Let's go. Conference tournaments are the only about making money. That's why so many good teams lose in the conference tournaments because they already know they're in the NCAA tournament. True, true. Some teams are paying, uh, playing to get in the tournament. Some teams already know they're in. So some teams are going to play a little harder. Absolutely. Chris says, what's up, fellas? Let's go. What's up, Chris? What's going on? No, thank you, Ron. Thank you, brother. Here we go. Seven times. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Here we go. Final click. There we go. Copy and paste. Put you in your divisions. So 20, 21, 29, 35, and 40. This is supposed to be Brandon. Uh, yeah. We're off one. Again. Did I grab the wrong one? Yeah, it's supposed to be 29. Oh. My bad. No, you're good. I'm good. I thought it was 21 25. My fault. 
No, nah, 20, uh, 21, 29, 35, 40. Oh, okay. So I have, making sure we got the right boxes, 21, 29, 35, 35. Oh, see, I went off of Chris Kohler's. Yeah, my Ron, fault, Ron, my Ron, fault. Yeah, Ron beat him. Uh, okay, 29, 35, 40. Okay. All good. Stupid. No. <laughs> Right. So dumb. All righty, we got it. All right, start off with box number twenty-one. But for divisions, Thomas got the NFC again. Thomas got the NFC unlocked today. He's not letting yeah. anyone have the NFC. Thomas, you have the NFC. Chris, the AFC North. John, the a AFC South. Valerie, the AFC East. And Ron, the AFC West. Waiting on the salute to serve his Viking helmet. Got gift card. Thank you. No, thank you, Chris. Viking salute to service helmet. Nice. Start off with box 21. Ron wants some Chiefs. Can we get some Chiefs? Good luck, everybody. Esteban Salas wants some diamonds. He's going to kick off the single diamond. I thought you were going to say Esteban Eliza. Former, Ooh, former 20, a... 20 game winner, now a convict, and <laughs> I believe, right? Yeah. 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 Oh. That's what happens. Play with fire. That's what happens. But, hey now, someone's going to get a spot. Uh oh. Someone's going to get a spot in that entry, uh, entry spot for Randy Moss Speed Flex. The Randy Moss Speed Flex. Now let's find out who's going to win the spot. Hmm, this is one I have to, for my time, so I have to reference this one to see what team it is. I believe it's Cowboys. What's the name? Let's pull it out and we'll find out together. We'll find out together? Yeah, we'll find out together. <laughs> I know what college you went to. It's on the college? It's on the college. Okay. It is the Rocket oh, himself. Ishmael. I think Rocket this one was one of those ones where it's a tie. Is it a Raider or is it a Cow... Uh, Cowboy? So it goes by games played, right? Games played, yes. By games played, he is an Oakland Raider by three games there over you go. Carolina. There you go. See? Ron! A lot of people forget Carolina was involved, but he actually uh -huh. played more games with Carol or with Oakland and Carolina than he did with Dallas. I had a feeling it was Raiders. I yeah. had a feeling. We'll yep. Yeah. All right. Ron! Nice hit, Ron. The Rocket on the Notre Dame jersey. Absolute stud. These Notre Dame jerseys. Ron Kazi with a snipe. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about iconic college uniforms, Notre Dame. Yeah. Definitely one of them. Not only does he get the Rocket Ishmael jersey, he gets a spot for that Randy Moss speed flex. Yeah. There you go, Ron. The Rocket. Rocket Ishmael. He was so fast, man. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you know, you don't get the nickname Rocket for being the slowest guy in the room. Right. Mm -hmm. That's, that, I mean, that's fair. But you probably, you probably... Not to call you older than me, but you probably have a better memory than him than I do. Well, yeah. So I mean, you probably weren't even alive when he was playing. Probably. Uh, I was a little. <laughs> I was 94. 94? Okay, 94. so, you, yeah, so yeah. you were like, he played until you were about seven. Yeah. Um, he, he And when you were seven, I was getting out of the Marine Corps, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me. I can't help it. I was That's only seven. <laughs> I was only seven. <laughs> there you go. Rocket. Make sure we put you in for that Randy Moss speed flex too, Ron. Lucky locks. He wanted some Chiefs. He got a Raider. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Good hit, Ron. Chris says, thank you for your service, Brandon. No problem. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Anytime. I do it again mm -hmm. in a heartbeat. Oh. I'm Hello. not even going to try to pronounce the his uh, first name. Uh, Rocket's first name. Quadri. No, Qu Quadri was his brother. Was the missile. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Rocket's first name was... Um, it's in the chat. Bob put it... Uh, I'm not going to... Rajib. Rajib? Okay. Rajib. Rajib. There you go. Oh, that's easy. 
You're right. Yeah, I forgot about yeah, his brother Quadri, yep. Mm-hmm. Write this up for Ron. Nice hit, Ron. They also had another brother nicknamed The Bomb. Wow. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Great nicknames for this family. <laughs> <laughs> the rocket, the missile, and the bomb. Better nicknames they than the family the nicknames that my family gives me. It's usually like idiot, dum dum. <laughs> get out. Usually get out, uh Get out. Yeah, it's usually <laughs> What are you doing here? <laughs> what do we got next? We got a can't miss coming up next? We do. All right, can't miss coming up next. Can't miss. We only have, um, we only have one box left in that can't miss left, mm -hmm. and that uh, started to get filled up. So if you guys want to get in there, finish that off, and then we can get to that giveaway. Absolutely, right, right up, uh, right Ron's name on his golden ticket for his Speed Flex Randy Moss entry spot. And then we can move on to that can't miss. Here we go. Randy Moss Speed Flex. Could be yours for $31. Yeah. Not only Randy Moss Speed Flex, but if you're getting something else too, because you got to win to get that entry spot. So if you win that entry spot, that means you're winning a great piece of memorabilia and potentially winning that Randy Moss Speed Flex. Right. Get in, guys. Last box. I keep making this blue. There we go. All right. Oh, just Thomas. All right, Thomas. This is just... Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? This was a quad box. Quad box break. Duh. Brandon. I was wondering what you were doing. Huh? I was testing you. I fell. Too early for me. Here we go. 29. in the chat they must be sleeping i'm waiting for waiting for the hey man got three more boxes <laughs> three more boxes you just like you're like we're good with the rocket ishmael we're just gonna leave it there that's it stall the show it was so it was so good we're not opening the th last three boxes that's it we're gonna rock it out out of here did you ever watch jimmy neutron jimmy neutron was that past your uh prime or no i watched it with my kids oh he had his own rocket in that show he was a boy genius jimmy neutron yeah and said got a blast that was his thing that's why every time I hear Rocket Ishmael, I just think of Jimmy Neutron now, though. Oh. It's not good. <laughs> okay, Jimmy Neutron on the show today. There we go. Come for the helmets. Stay for the Jimmy Neutron talk. There you go. I have faith in Dom. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. No card in here? All right, we'll get the. Oh, it's a fanatics. You know, I do the fanatics ones. Is that is that Fred Jackson? Could it be? Or Fred Taylor? I mean, hold on. Jags. Yeah. We're just gonna confirm who it is. If it can pick up the damn QR code. Let me see. Yep. Go ahead. John Sutter, it's your hit. Either way. Is it Taylor? We just want to confirm. I don't think it is. It might be, but I don't think it is. No card in here. And those Fanatics QR codes are... Those are the ones you gotta... Uh, show me. It's, uh, I'll show Bob. Give me one second. It's not picking up the QR. Yeah, the Fanatics on ones phone. are tough. There's a signature right there. Is there a number on that? Like a code? Like an actual number. Like a cert number. Or is it just a QR? Or is it just a QR? There's a code, uh, like a number at the Fanatics. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Get it. Maybe Tank Dell? No, not on the Jags. That's a, tech, uh, it's a Jags helmet. It looks no. like a TD. It looks like TD. Or T. <laughs> I actually think it looks like Trevor Lawrence, but mm -hmm. I just want to. I just want to verify. So I'm gonna put in the number. Give me a second. I'll get it. Right. 
We'll get that figured out, guys. But we'll move on to the next one. We'll figure that out. We'll go to box 35. John, as soon as we get that figured out, we'll let you know who it is. Sorry about that. The card wasn't in there. But we'll go on to box 35. Here we go. Hopefully we know who's in this one. It is Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence? Yeah. There we go. It is Trevor Lawrence. It is Trevor Lawrence. There we go. What's it, the hologram sticker? The letter on it. There's like a letter hologram right next to it. There's three of them. What is it? W. Yep. H. Yep. X. Yeah. Trevor Lawrence? I don't know if anybody can see it, but... I'll get it close. You get it close to the camera? Yeah. Show them on there. Yeah, there we go. See if it'll come up. Mm-hmm. Get it up a little bit. To the side. Go up. Down. Now down a little bit. There you go. There you got it. John Sutter, you got a headliner. Trevor Lawrence. There That's what go. I thought it looked like. I just wanted to make sure before I spoke on a turn. Yeah, I didn't want to. Yeah, I knew we had Trevor Lawrence in the black and blue mix. I just don't want to say, hey, you wanted Trevor Lawrence and then not be Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> and yell. It's not the way I like to do things. So, love the mad helmets. Me too, Valerie. They're sweet. They're awesome. But there you go. Trevor Lawrence. First overall pick in the draft a years ago. I'm a big believer in Trevor Lawrence. I think he's awesome. I think last year he got banged up towards the end of the year and the Jags fell off. Um,. Bringing in Mac Jones, obviously Mac Jones is not going to contend for Trevor Lawrence's job, but it's something of a little bit of a, hey man, you're good, but we need you to be better. I I actually think that Mac Jones will push him for his job. Mm. Um, I think that Mac Jones or that Trevor Lawrence, um, has not lived up to to what he was hyped up to be coming out of college, and mm. I think that the Jaguars are like, you know what, let's let's get somebody to push him. Now mm -hmm. let's see how he he responds to that. Absolutely. Um, and, and I think that's where it's at. I think Trevor. I think Mac Jones can't push. They've been the same quarterback since they both got. They both got drafted in the same draft, and they've been the same quarterback. So look it look it up. They've Come been on. the same quarterback. Come on. I I understand. I see Mac Jones went to the playoffs I, I, once. Trevor Lawrence went to the playoffs. I've once. seen the, the numbers are the same. I've seen the picture, the meme. They are not the same. Why, why aren't they? It's not the same. Trevor Trevor Lawrence is a lot better than Mac Jones. Here, here's the difference between Trevor Lawrence and Mac Jones. Trevor Lawrence went to a failing franchise. Mac Jones took over for the GOAT. Yes. So it's a much different perception of what they've been. They've both been to the playoffs once. Mm -hmm. They both have struggled against really good defenses. Mm -hmm. They've both. It's The numbers are dang near identical. They have been the same quarterback. I actually, I honestly believe... Numbers that Mac do lie. Jones can, can push. I like Chris. Numbers, numbers do, do Numbers do lie, especially do. when it comes to quarterback, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. I Absolutely. Mean, Justin Field. But, like I said, they both went to the playoffs just once. I just, the eye test, I get it. They both went to the playoffs just once, but there's a reason why Mac Jones just got traded for a fifth-round pick. To be Trevor Lawrence's backup. Perception is reality, right? Hey, I think this is going to be... I don't want to say breakout year for Trevor Lawrence, because Trevor Lawrence has had good years. Yeah. But this is going to be the year which... Oh. Oh. Here's the reason why he was the can't-miss prospect out of Clemson. I, I hope so. Yeah. But if not, that's why they have Mac Jones. If they got to start Mac Jones, they're in trouble. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they got big problems if they got to start Mac Jones. Here we go. We just pulled... Mac Jones. <laughs> Who do we have here? Trevor Lawrence had a uh, insane comeback in the playoffs. What Mac got? My, that's true. That's true. Trevor Lawrence did have that comeback against the against the against who? The Chargers. The Chargers. Antonio Gates, future Hall of Fame tight. I can't believe he didn't make it this year. Antonio Gates. What a shame. He's gonna make it next year. He's yeah. gonna make it next year. There you go. We were just talking about the team that he came back on. Pull out the Chargers flash. Ron, two for, two hits for Ron. Yeah. And look at it. Thomas Kohlenberg at four spots. has the entire NFC and has been sniped on all three of the first four boxes. We got one more box. There's one more box. Talk about the Dolphins flash. The Ravens flash. Another great looking Chargers, flash. Yeah. All the flashes are, uh, are great. Give me the Dolphins. Give me the Ravens. Give me the Chargers and the Jags. I'll take those. 
I love those. Yeah, I, the Bears have a great one. The Packers have a great one. Mm-hmm. I got um, a Flash Mini of Jordan Love yeah. with that yellow ink. Oh, Absolutely God. sick. You got yeah. say what you want about Jordan Love. Obviously, you know you're a Bear fan, so you're gonna not gonna like him as much as I do. I love Jordan Love. You gotta say his signature. Oh, his signature is great. Yeah, he, he made a believer out of me this year too. I, I you know, I, I want to see if he can keep it up for a second straight year. That's a tough. Um, one. We're gonna find out, but, I mean, I hope he falls flat on his flat on his face. But I actually, he made a believer out of me this year. I think he's. He's a lot better than I thought he was going to be. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's the same as well. If the Caleb Williams, I think Caleb Williams is going to be a stud quarterback in the NFL. If, if he gets drafted by the Bears, I hope he turns out to be the biggest bust in NFL history. Yeah. Not the and personal. I hope he turns out to be the GOAT. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I, I think that you have a better chance of him turn out to be the GOAT than turn out to be a bust. Because I think he's going to be a damn good quarterback, Caleb Williams. He's just got to be better than Justin Fields. Yes. In Bears fans' eyes. Yes. Which... If he's not better than Justin Fields... There's going to be mutiny. Well, hate to break it to you, but that shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> wow. What? How dare you talk about the future Hall of Famer that way? Justin Fields? Mm. On the Pittsburgh Steelers? Justin Fields? Hall yeah, of the, the longer and longer it takes for them to, to actually pull off a trade for Fields, uh huh, makes me start to believe that they're going to trade number one uh. instead. Ron, are you still in it, brother? He was in it earlier to see the Rocket one. This is the Charger Antonio Gates. That's beautiful. Save this for next year when Gates does get... He's getting in the Hall of Fame, for sure. I still have him as my number one tight end all the time. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I get in this argument every time I'm on this show, so I, I'm like the tight end. It's Kelsey, Gronk, uh, Gates. None of them Gonzalez. have more touchdowns than Gates. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Def a Hall of Fame. Yeah, he'll make it next year. I don't know. I don't know if they thought maybe, you know, voters are weird. They're probably like, oh, we voted too many people in already, so let's just vote to wait till vote him in next and I year. I hate that. And I hate that too. You see that more in baseball though. Be- baseball drives me nuts. Oh, uh, it's like this guy's not a fir- first oh, ballot hall of famer. Guy, a so I can't. I can't vote for. I if if Babe Ruth didn't get all the votes, one hundred percent, we can't vote anybody. On that's I'm not stupid. I'm not voting for Greg Maddox. People are doing steroids in his air, so he's got to suffer for it too. Even though he, you know, was great during the steroid air, and we never did steroids, I'm still not voting for him. I hate that's I, that MLB. Uh, that's a whole different whole different show. Yes. All right, box 40 out of 40. I still think Gonzalez is the GOAT, says Chris. See, yeah, I can't, like, the tight end argument, I can't argue that. Do you tell me Gronk's the GOAT? Sure. Kelsey's the GOAT? Sure. Gonzalez the GOAT? Sure. Gates? Sure. Shannon Sharp? Sure. If you take the top five all time, you could put them in any order and it's okay. Yeah, huh. honestly. And how many positions can you do that for? Really none. No. Because if you do it for wide receiver, you don't have Jerry Rice either one or two. It's like, well, this is Yeah, it's, it's either Rice or Moss. Exactly. Like the top two is, is interchangeable. Yeah, but. for quarterbacks, if you don't have Brady at least two, yeah. then it's invalid. Any good list where you don't have Brady number one right now is kind of invalid. I agree. Here's a wide receiver. Here's a wide receiver from another team that has a rich history of wide receivers. Not on there. Oh. <laughs> But it is. Thomas, he needed NFC. NFC comes out. Anthony Carter, wide receiver, wow. Minnesota Vikings. Just talking about the rich history uh, rich history of wide receivers they had. You have, obviously, Anthony Carter, Chris Carter, Randy Moss, Justin Jefferson. Hell, throwing Stephon Diggs. He was a stud this time in Minnesota. Minnesota always has a stud wide receiver, it seems yeah. like. There you go. Laporta is sick. Yeah, Laporta's going to be a stud. And Kincaid. Kincaid and Laporta... They are going to be studs. And hopefully Luke Musgraves as well. But Anthony Carter going to Thomas. There you go, Thomas. Wait until the last box of the quad box. Get you an NFC, buddy. Anthony Carter. Now, if you're doing a Mount Rushmore wide receivers for just team-wise, and you have to take a certain team's wide receivers, you're going to take Minnesota's wide receivers, right? Because you're going to get Randy Moss... You're going to get Justin Jefferson, Chris Carter, and Anthony Carter. Unless, wow. you could, unless you could think of a team that had four receivers up to that up to those standards. Man, that's a, such a great question. I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm... I'm... 
Cowboys. Pearson, the 88s. It's got to be the Pearson, Ir- Irvin. CD Lamb. Des Bryant. But I'm taking the minutes. I'm taking Randy Moss over any of those guys. I'm taking Chris Carter any maybe over any of those guys. I mean, you go the 49ers. You go... Steelers. Chris says Steelers. Steelers. You get Lynn Swan. Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward. Uh... Deontay Johnson. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's up? I'm trying to think. I don't, that's a good question, though. Yeah. I'm going Minnesota. Just from the top of my head, Minnesota. Off oh, the top of your head, yeah. I can't think of a, a team that's better. Uh, Bears. <laughs> just kidding. DJ Moore. <laughs> Keenan Allen. Brandon Marshall. <laughs> it's actually not bad when you look at hey, Brandon Marshall, <laughs> Keenan Allen, DJ Moore. Yeah. Throw in who? Marty Booker. Exactly. After that. Except Keenan Allen still has not stepped on the field for the Bears. It's <laughs> all right. He's got the Photoshop. The Photoshop's there. There you go. We can Photoshop him in. Oh, and then Marty Booker. Mm. There's a name. Who was before uh, those early 2000s Bears teams really rough to watch on offense? I'm talking like Jim Miller, uh, quarterback. Who was like the one player in offense that was like, all right, I could watch this guy. Like, he's pretty good. I have high hopes for him. On the Bears? Yeah, the Bears offense. And the early, like the Dick Duran coach days. Because um, those offenses were... Maybe uh, uh, Thomas... Uh, A-Train? Yeah. Anthony Thomas? Anthony Thomas. He did have that nice rookie year, right? Yeah. You go with... Uh, what's his name, too? Um... Trying to think of the other wide receiver's name that they had. Chris. Well, most of the good wide receivers they traded though. Mm-hmm. Um, Chris is Dick. I mean, Dick was you know for a tight end back in his day. I mean, he put oh, up yeah. some numbers. Yeah. He put up some great numbers. All right, Thomas. When will the drawing for the Randy Moss take place? When we close out that black and blue series, uh, Ron. When we close out the black and blue series, that's when the drawing takes place. Same thing with the drawing now for the the Bradshaw and the Brett Favre. Uh, Brett Favre. We've mm-hmm. got um, a double coming up right now, and then once that last single closes out, then we can do that one. Mm-hmm. Thomas, just you, my friend. Drop me two box numbers for the can't miss. There's three boxes left. Eighteen and twenty-eight. Thank you. And how many tickets are in the drawing, Dom? For the Randy Moss, there are ten spots. Ten spots. How many do we have left? Dom? Yeah, and that's going to be a top spot drawing, as opposed to Bradshaw and Favre are going to be the. We got one spot left for that Randy Moss. One spot left for that Randy Moss. What were the two box numbers? Uh, eighteen and twenty-eight. Yes, sir. Alrighty, Thomas. Since it's just Thomas in here, no need to go to the randomizer. We got seven spots left in that single. Can't miss. Mm -hmm. Seven spots left to get us there. There you go. 10% chance ain't bad. Not at all. Anything higher than a 0% chance? That means you got a chance, right, Brandon? Yeah. And all you had to do was get a spot and a break, and what, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't... For Randy Moss, all the $31 for a spot. Yeah. $31 for a spot. Absolutely. Absolute steal. Here we go. We said two headliners were left with three boxes remaining. Here's one of them. DK, baby. DK Metcalf. Beast receiver. As he says sometimes, as he signs that sometimes on his inscriptions. Not this time, but he is a beast. DK Metcalf. Nice hit, Thomas. Love these Seattle jerseys. Absolutely. Nice. DK. The neon green on all of Like, mm-hmm. they're just... They, they've got great... That's what I'm saying, man. The NFL probably has, from top to bottom, the best memorabilia. Yeah. Um, like, like, I love baseball. I'm a baseball guy. But there are some, you know memorabilia with some of the teams where you're just like, eh. Mm-hmm. I had family come over on Thanksgiving this year. Seahawks are playing the Niners. 
um, the night game. Seahawks come out wearing the all neon. Yeah. My rule is they don't lose wearing that all neon. Yeah. My cousins, you know, they, they like to gamble. They told me, well, you know, you watch football, you know what you're talking about. A little Fools. And I was like, <laughs> oh, you got to take Seattle. Trust me. Take Seattle. They do not lose in these neon green jerseys. San Francisco tore them up. They have not spoke to me since Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, I mean, you win some, you lose some, you know? I mean, that was the first time I see him losing those neon. Those neon jerseys. <laughs> It was the first time I see him. I swear, I wasn't. I wasn't like trying they're to like, sabotage. I they just bet in their house on it. Well, I, 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 mean, I, I like, was, why are they not talking? I to was. Very, I was very good. I was like very, you know, convincing. I'm like, trust me, man. These neon jerseys. They don't lose in these neon jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh huh. All right, Thomas. Here we go. Can it be the bus? Or do we have a bonus banger coming out in here? Uh, you we are fix now six away in that final can't miss can't miss just ball there you go thanks chris shout out you brother what do you think seattle does with quarterback next year that's a surprising surprise they're not in the justin fields a little sweet uh sweepstakes a little bit yeah i mean gino you know he's fine but once you want a younger guy yeah you know you're not gonna stick with gino for more than a year or two after this so, Thomas Kohlenberg, you did buy out the Can't Miss mini jersey. However, you bought seven spots. Chris Goldwait got in there just ahead of you to buy one spot. Wow. So, I'm going to refund you one of the spots, and I'll close it out with the six. Okay, Thomas? Wow, Chris. Nice spot. But hey, Thomas. Thomas, you did get that last spot. You did get that last spot. You got the last six. Oh. Oh. I thought you were talking about the... Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, no. We still have more in the black and blue. Oh, no. We still have... No, we that's do. not the black and blue. We just can't miss. That is the last spot, I think. Mm. Is that number eight? Yeah. There you go. All right. Yeah, do we do we can't miss? Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. No problem. There you go. Thomas got a spot for the double box break. Favre and Bradshaw. Too many giveaways. I'm losing track of these giveaways. We're giving away everything in this room today. Giving it all away. Giving everything away. All right, let me write this out for Thomas. All this free stuff we're giving away, I'm losing count. Just giving away all of Matt Salas' stuff. Mm hmm. It's not ours. What do we care? <laughs> <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> when you put it that way. I do like getting paychecks every two weeks. <laughs> I do prefer that. Well, when you put it that way. Uh huh. Ah. Here we go. Let's see what Thomas won right here. Ooh. Hey. This guy really took off when the comeback player of the year came aboard. David Njoku. Tight end, Cleveland Browns. You were just talking about the flash helmets for the Browns, uh, Brandon. I like the flash helmets for the Browns. I think these are sharp. David Njoku, the Joker. He really took off. Once Flacco joined the team, middle of the season, his numbers took off. From her first round pick out of the University of Miami. Nice hit right here. There you go, so, Thomas. Thomas, I did just issue that refund as well. So that refund is on its way. Thank you for that, Brandon. No problem. He's a nasty player, but that is a crappy, I'll say, auto. Who is it? David Njoku. Wow, he really went all out on that <laughs> yeah. one. Well, the D. <laughs> the D looks good. Wow. Initials. Maybe, you know, busy guy. It happens. Sometimes you catch these guys, too. I mean, most of these are signed at, like, a... Um, at an event mm -hmm. but sometimes you do like if you're trying to get them caught out like after practice or something um you do get a crappy signature like a quick sig um but i mean quick sig yeah not not like what you're thinking quick sig like you like before the show you go have a quick sig um you're talking about quick signature <laughs> that's what you got i was like what <laughs> that's like a dog <laughs> it's like a dog when you blew the dog whistle <laughs> oh my <laughs> uh, David Njoku though I like these Browns flash helmets 
I, I, you know, I know a lot of people, they're, you know, hit and miss on them. I love them. I think the orange, when you add in the brown, really pops. The orange just pops even more. Yeah. I'm no interior decorator, though. All right? I mean. But I love it. I can figure that, though. <laughs> hey, man. There we go. There you go, Thomas. We have a can't miss coming up. This last can't miss, so it's going to be just Thomas and uh, Chris, right? Yeah, to, uh, Thomas, Chris, and, and the other Chris. Chris Ripka, Chris Goldweight. Each have one spot in the Thomas Kohlenberg. Oh, all up. right. Six. Triple threat match. <laughs> See if the Chris's team up and... Well, whoever lands in the, the Bettis spot, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I got to write the DK. Yeah. It's for Jerome Bettis, the bus. Maybe, you know, who closed it out? What headliners are left in diamonds? Adam says, Troy Palomalu, Adrian Peterson, Steve Young, C.D. Lamb, Troy Aikman, secondary headliners, George Kittle. Thomas and Tank buying up all the break spots. Hey, Thomas is feeling himself today. Shout out Thomas. He wants to win. And when you want to win, Brandon, what's the hey, best strategy? Buy as many spots as, as you can. Buy as many spots as you can. Mm-hmm. He tried buying more, but somebody got it in there before him. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. You don't want him to buy all the spots, got to beat him to it. Got to be quick. These spots are like hotcakes. It's like that that old uh, commercial. Got to be quicker than that. Got to be well with the, <laughs> with the, with the dollar. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Got to be quicker than that. Got to be quicker than that. All righty. I don't know why nobody's going after this one and four, man. That Mike Trout photo is still out there. Allie too. Rushman? How about the first? Allie yes. Rushman was the first pick in the draft a few years ago. His yeah. first year in the league. He's a silver slugger and an all-star. I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't understand it because I'm, for me personally, I'd be all over it. Uh-huh. And not just uh, Allie Rushman, just silver slugger, all-star in his first year. Baltimore is heavenly hyped. This is the year that Baltimore's been waiting for for a long time. That team is stacked with young talent. They went out and got Corbin Burns, an absolute stud pitcher from Milwaukee. Yeah. Could I be. Mean, he did just poop all over their closer though a little bit ago. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> but if Baltimore does make it to the World Series and they win it, Adley Rushman? Yeah. Definitely one of those guys where I wouldn't be surprised telling me he's a World Series MVP. Yeah, Not even true. just a World Series MVP, a regular season MVP. Yeah. He's the real deal out of Oregon State. I remember watching him at Oregon State. Him and, uh, Nick Madrigal were teammates. <laughs> Which one would you They've come a long way from trading the Cubs Chris P.A. for uh, Jake Arrieta. <laughs> oh, man. That was Baltimore. That was uh, not one of their best trades. <laughs> all righty. I mean, I was all right with it. Oh, I know you. Man, Arrieta. <laughs> what a great he was cup. a stud for about a four-year four year stretch with the Cubs. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Chris, Chris, and Thomas. Can't miss. Well, it is one box left, so we know what box it is. I'll grab that bad boy. Sometimes I get too excited and I forget there's one box left, so I'm like, drop me a box number. And they're like, hey, hey, Bozo. <laughs> My team Steelers, let's go. I get a lot where I start cutting it open. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I have a randomized stuff. <laughs> that happens. I was probably going to do that before you even mentioned it. All right, guys. Let's go to the randomizer. Copy and paste. Jerome Bettis. When's the new series going to be when they can't miss run out? I believe it's going to uh, be a practice squad, correct? Practice squad after the can't miss and black and blue. Mm -hmm. um, that will be for the 3 o'clock show for sure. Yes. Thank you. Here we go. Final click. it is all righty thomas the nfc again thomas owns the nfc today mm -hmm. chris repka has the nfc north jerome bettis thomas afc south afc east chris goldweight afc west but you know what's coming out of here you should go it is 
<gasps> All aboard! They say that on buses? No. All aboard? No. That's trains. Oh well. Jerome Bass, new nickname. They say hurry up, put the money in the thing. Hurry up. Move. <laughs> Move. Get on the bus. There you go. The bus. Jerome Bettis. Chris Repka with the snipe. I say, Chris. The bus. Jerome Bettis. There we go. You know what that means. Now that this series is closed out. Now we can run it. That giveaway. Run the giveaway. That giveaway. Jerome Bettis. Chris Repka. Snipe indeed. Dang. We were just talking about Najoku's signature. Jerome Bettis has an awesome signature. The 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 dots that represent the wheels on the bus. Mm-hmm. Round and round. I couldn't help myself. Sorry. Because that's like if if you go to tackle him, that's what would happen to you. Your body would go round and round and round as it tumbled across the ground. Me personally, if I went to tackle him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of any scenario where I would personally just tackle uh, Jerome, Jerome Bettis myself. <laughs> like, uh, the bus is here. What if if I line if I said, hey, look, I'm gonna put you in pads. Yes. Jerome Bettis is gonna be in pads. He's gonna start at the at the ten yard line. You've got to stop him from getting into the end zone. If you stop him, you get a billion dollars. He stopped hundred percent. Would you would you attempt it? Not only am I going to stop him, I'll make him fumble, and I'll return it all the way for a touchdown for a billion dollars. You bet. You bet. All right? That's 100% happening. For a billion dollars, I can do anything. For a billion dollars. For a billion. <laughs> all of a sudden, you just see Dom stop, pull out a 9 mil. Whatever, whatever has to be done, all right? Whatever has to be done. For a billion hey, he dollars. he didn't cross the goal line. He didn't cross the goal line. I don't care. I'm at least trying it. Yeah. I, I, I'm at least, you know, attempt to stop him. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for a billion dollars. Yeah, you have no choice. What's the worst case? He just breaks every bone in my body. <laughs> I mean, that would be but worst case. But whatever, I'm going to feel like a loser either way, so I'm not going to care. That's true. So there That's we, fair. If Brian Erlacher can't do it, my money would not be on Dom. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> guess what? Tom Brady never juked me out of my cleats. He did yeah. it to Brian Urlacher, never to me. So maybe I'm a little better tackler than Brian Urlacher. Yeah. You never know. I mean, that's true. We are now down to 10 boxes, too, in the uh, black and blue as well. 10 boxes down to the black and blue. So we close out that can't miss. Now it's time for a little giveaway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me add those winners to this page. And there's only one entry left in that Randy Moss, too. Mm -hmm. So let me add Thomas Cullenberg's winnings to the this. Give me one second. Good show so far, though. Start off this Saturday. Absolutely. Pretty good. I'll do this giveaway. Yep. 17604. We have, right now, we have six spots to go in the next black and blue quad box. Six spots to go. That would bring us down to six boxes remaining to hit that quad box. Again, one spot still left in that Randy Moss. Uh, and then the guys, look, the one and four, man. 19 boxes to go. We've got nine headliners, including that Yamir Yager jersey, the Adley Rutschman helmet. That Mike Trout photo, Allen Iverson, Ronald Acuna Jr. jersey. That's got the El Abusador on the jersey. Found out it's because he abuses baseballs, nothing else, just baseballs. Sterling Marte gave him that uh, nickname. Really? He called him the abuser of baseballs. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you got Henrik Lundqvist on a uh, licensed NHL jersey as well. Dak Prescott authentic helmet is in there. Mm -hmm. Clyde Drexler, Trevor Hoffman, Tony Parker are secondary headliners. I don't understand. Look, guys, if you're afraid your wives are going to be mad at you for playing in these, just show her that Mike Trout photo. Mm -hmm. it's, it's from that angle. She might like it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Craig wants to know what's left in the black and blue. DK uh, Metcalf, Saquon Barkley, that Broncos triple sign, Terrell Davis, Ed McCaffrey, and Rod Smith, uh, Tyree Kill, Debo Samuel, and Chris Carter. Yeah. So black and blue is loaded. Plus we still have one spot left in, in that uh, – that Randy Moss entry. Craig says, Grandpa producing. 
Grandpa producer today. He's calling you Grandpa? It is, yeah, my daughter's having a uh, baby next week. Oh, congratulations. She's, she's due next week, so I'm going to be a grandfather. Congrats. Uh, yes. Wow. Grandpa, Grandpa Combs. Can I call you Grandpa? I never had a Grandpa. I mean, my they're going to call me Papa. I'll call um, you. But I don't want you to call me, unless you're going to call me Big Papa. Can I call you G-Pa? Can you call me Big Papa? No, I'll call no. you G- right. G-Pa. G-Pa. <laughs> G-Pa. G-Pa? G-Pa, Grandpa. I never had it. You know, both of my grandfathers were passed away by the time I rose in this world. Yeah. So they probably wanted nothing to do with me, so uh, I never had a grandpa. So you want to be my uh, honorary grandpa? Yeah. There you go. Yes. When people ask me what happened at work today, I can tell them. I I got to work with my grandfather. Yeah, work with my grandpa. I'm the happiest kid in the world. All (laughs) All right. The Can't Miss giveaway of Chris Ripka, Chris Altari, Chronic, Sahid. Daniel, Austin, and Thomas. Here we go. It is a double box break, guys. Double box break. Brett Favre, Terry Bradshaw. Go to the Somebody randomizer. Somebody woke up Matthew McLaughlin. Someone woke up Matthew. Here we go. The rep giveaway is divisional box break. The Randy Moss is 10 spot, top name. You guys know the drill. So this is just a regular divisional box break. Here we go. Double box break. Seven times. So whoever gets the North and the NFC and the AFC, there you go. Final click, Brandon, you ready? Let's do it. There it is. Looks like Austin had NFC North. All right, Austin, NFC North. You got the Brett Favre and the AFC North going to Daniel Eckerd. Daniel Eckert and Austin, the two winners in the can't miss giveaway. The two reps. Austin take it home, the Brett Favre. And Daniel take it home, the Terry Bradshaw. Oh, yes, Brett Favre. TB for the original TB12. Show him the better quarterback, bro. He's right. Bradshaw. Right here. <laughs> Move this knife. There's the Favre. Get the TB, the Terry Bradshaw. There's the Favre, guys. Check it out. Sick. Woo! Absolutely. Chris win a jersey yet? Not yet. Did Chris win a jersey yet? Who won the jersey? We did a jersey. I forgot. I can't remember who won it. I can tell you in a few minutes here once I start putting in these orders. There you go. Not yet. (laughs) Not yet. Terry Bradshaw, Daniel and Austin, congrats. Write these up for you guys. There you go. They are not in the chat, then they're going to get a nice little surprise. Well, we have a nice little surprise because we're going to open up some diamonds. Matthew McLaughlin woke up and was like, you know what? Let's play some diamond doubles. I love it. There you go, Matthew. Shout out. Write these up, and then we'll get to those diamond doubles. Brett Favre. Let me make sure I put this as a giveaway. There we go. Uh, can we have a box for these? Uh, is there an extra box for these anywhere? Uh, I'm sure. If not, we, I can get one. But yeah, I'm just gonna put in a can't miss box for now. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in the can't miss box for now just so we can have a poster on it. Okay. I don't think I lost enough yesterday that I don't need that. I <laughs> Bradshaw's underrated, man, by far. I mean, four Super Bowls. You win four Super Bowls. And you're right. No one really talks about Terry's one of the greatest, but four yeah. Super Bowls. He has an MVP. Great hit right there. Daniel knows he's not underrated. Daniel Acker. He's going to know he's not underrated. I just missed the Merriman jersey earlier. It looks sweet. There you go. It absolutely was. The powder blue was sick. Those powder blue Charger jerseys. I mean, anything Chargers. Yeah. Jerseys. Daniel Ackerd. Probably don't rush. Three days later. What happened? Trying to drag these things over. Mm-hmm. I feel like you know the um, 
the the SpongeBob. Three, three hours yeah. later. Uh-huh. <laughs> there we go. So these two comments, I'm looking at the. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to myself in there. There you go, guys. That's the rep giveaway. I just looked at that Randy Moss in there. It's waiting, waiting for someone to take him home. Congrats to Austin. Congrats to Daniel. Here's the diamonds. Casey and Matthew. All right. Diamond double number one. I watched Bradshaw get hit once in the head behind the line in highlight reel. He never should have played after I swore we were killing QBs back then. These kids don't know. 46. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nine. Remember what the Packers did to, to um, Jim McMahon? Uh-huh. I mean. Fair hit. Yeah. <laughs> it was fair. It was, it was, if that happened in today's NFL, he would have been charged with murder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so was that 9 and 13? 9 and 13, yes. Thank you, sir. No problem. All right, 9 and 13 here. Copy and paste. Take Casey and Matthew to the randomizer. Casey looking to snipe. Here we go, seven times. Final click. There it is. Yeah, Lucky Locks. I, I, I mean, he really did. <laughs> I mean... He got put quarterbacks got punished back then, man. Mm -hmm. It wasn't I get I get the whole safety thing now, but I mean quarterbacks now and imagine if if you did that to Patrick Mahomes, there'd be thirty five flags thrown on the play. Which hit? The Jim McMahon hit? <laughs> the Jim McMahon hit. If you do that to Patrick Mahomes, he gets up and he's perfectly fine. Like any real football player would. Jim McMahon, I think he, he oversold it. I think he was a little wow. little soccer uh Wow little soccer flopping. You watch your tongue, sir. Little soccer flopping going on there. Watch your tongue. A little acting, in my opinion, <laughs> on that. That's a clean hit. I'll tell you what, after after this on camera, we're gonna reenact that hit. You're gonna be Jim McMahon and we're gonna see how I'm a Packer fan. I gotta be the Packer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Packer fan. All right. Casey Ford, you have the AFC West. Matthew, you have everything else, Matthew. Casey, AFC West, Matthew, everything else. Sounds weird saying that, not in the one and four. You have everything else? Yes. I'm looking at that one and four, man. I know, man. Baseball's I... around the corner, too. I'm in the baseball mood. The Mike Trout, the Rushman, the Okuna. I'm ready. And Trevor Hoffman, one of the yeah. best. We're talking about closers. I mean, we're talking about random closers. Trevor Hoffman, he's not random. He's one of the best closers of all time. Yeah. Go Padres. They made a huge trade the other day. Yeah, they did. Dylan Cease. I'm numb to it all. Dylan Cease is going to win the Cy Young in I the National League. Hope he and, does. and Tim Anderson is going to be the comeback player of the year. I hope he does. I hope it all happens. <laughs> I hope it all happens. Ooh. Just like Matthew Hope for a winner, he's got one. It's a Rodney oh Harrison. My word. There you go. One of That's the a key, beauty. One of the key defensive players from those early Patriots dynasty. Nice helmet right here. See, you got the Super Bowl inscriptions. There you, there you are. Nice hit right there. Matthew, AFC East, Ronnie Harrison. Nice hit. That is a nice hit, man. I like the uh, Super Bowl inscription as well. Mm-hmm. Got to throw those in. You want a Super Bowl? If I, if I, you know, someone asked for my autograph, and I'm putting, like, my highest accomplishments on there. Like, yeah. I never want a Super Bowl, but I'm like, 12 bears drink and, like, Three hours, December or something, I give it like a date. Like, Four cigarettes before the show. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a record. That would be a record. <laughs> the dude was a missile, Ronnie Harris. Absolutely. Six Diet Cokes on Thursday. I, you, you saw how I rushed to get my Diet Coke in the fridge. I got a little nervous. I forgot to put that bad boy in the fridge. I was like, oh, right before the start of the show. Uh oh. Got to put my Diet Coke in the fridge. I don't drink coffee, so that's my caffeine I get. I'm not a coffee drinker. Alrighty. 
Carolina Panthers are bringing in Michael Gallup for a meeting. Wow. Michael Gallup. What's going on in Carolina, man? It's weird. Uh, the, the, I mean, that trade that he made with the Bears, and credit to the Bears for this one, Yeah. that's a trade that sets a franchise back 10 years well, for the Panthers. Yeah. Especially when you miss on the pick. Not just miss, I mean, who knows? You know, Bryce Young, there's a new coach, new different situation, Deontay Johnson. Deontay Johnson is better than what they had there previously. Yeah. Uh, he's not, like, great, but he's not a, he's not a bum. He yeah. can make plays. He's better than throwing to Jonathan Mingo. So, um, I'm not giving up on Bryce Young just yet. Yeah. But, it doesn't look good. Not Panthers Big Dumb says Craig. Craig says, who was that? That was Rodney Harrison. Rodney Harrison. Panthers Big Dumb. Yep. Panthers, so many years searching for that franchise quarterback. If they just would have been patient one more year, they might have had that franchise quarterback. But who knows? You never know. Bryce Young, maybe Deontay Johnson yeah. becomes um, James Lofton in uh, Carolina. Ooh, wow. You like that name? I do. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of someone who like switched teams that like, took off. Like yeah. James Lofton, really good player in Green Bay. Really good in Green Bay. Then went to Buffalo, and his, you know. Yeah. Really, you know, those are Jim Kelly. The Buffalo teams back then were a lot better than the Green Bay teams back then. Yeah. So, James Lofton played with the pre far Packers. Mm. Steve Largent. Yeah. Say like Seahawks. Here we go. Do we have a. Here we go. Here we go. How about a little bit of the steel curtain? Jack Ooh. Lambert. One of the best photos ever wow. taken on a football field is the Jack Lambert playing in the cold. It's just like his face. He's got most of his teeth missing. He's probably got like three teeth in his mouth. It's one of those old school helmets that only has like the one bar. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's like negative 20 degrees out. And it's the most like football player picture ever taken. If someone was like, what does a football player look like? That photo of Jack Lambert, I would probably. Yeah. I would probably. Oh, yeah. For <laughs> sure. One of the and that's not a name you see. We don't see that name very often mm -hmm. here in the break room, man. That's wow. a nice one. Mm -hmm. Going to Matthew. Matthew did not get sniped, so he's in a good mood. But that, there you go. Jack Lambert. That's a one in four, man. A Hall of Fame all time, like, the heirs. This is like, when you say Jack Lambert, it's like one of the, I don't want to say forefathers, because he's not that long ago. Yeah. But one of the OGs. Yeah. You know, the originals. And that's what you get here as opposed to, like, uh, in, in other rooms is the, the fact that our filler hits. Craig our says, guys like Jack Lambert. Craig says, I have a 20 by 24 of that photo signed in my office. There you go. There you go. I'm telling you, that photo is... I remember seeing that photo as a kid, and I was like, who is this man? Because yes. he looks like the baddest football player ever. It was Jack Lambert on the Steelers. Man, those Steelers defense. When you just think of Pittsburgh, you think of the Steel Curtain. You think of those defenses. Nice hit, Matthew. How are the orders coming? Are we getting orders, or... Because I, I do want... I do want... Stopped a little. I do want to give us enough time to get that practice squad. Get that practice squad series in, guys. Because I want you guys to get in and get it up. We did finish that can't miss. So. Yeah, everything's pretty wide open right now. All right. Well, I feel if it's, everything's wide open, I'll go do a quick rundown. If everything's open after the rundown, we'll sign off. Give us time. We'll get the practice squad ready for you guys. And we'll be back at 3 p.m. Well, I'll do that rundown first. Well, let me write up uh, Matthew's big wins right here. Nice hit, Matthew. As you said, that five orders came in simultaneously. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. Hey, they know there's... Actually, he no, it didn't. It was just the, the system went wonky for a second. Oh, okay. No. I was going to say, uh-oh. Uh -oh. But hey, if you want to keep, I mean, not going to... Yeah, I mean, we'll keep going. We'll but... keep going. We'll keep going. If you guys will keep breaking, we'll keep going. But if not, just tell me you guys we'll take off for a little bit, get that practice squad ready, and we'll come back. But like I said, if you guys want to keep breaking, if you guys don't want to stop, you like the diamonds being the chase? Yeah. Because it is a new chase on the next show. Take advantage of that. Only Matthew and Casey took advantage of the... Of the chase. Jack Lambert, Ronnie Harrison, defense, defense, defense. 
That's why you get in the diamond, Brandon, because Jack Lambert, not even a secondary headliner, one of the greatest players of all time. Someone who's played, who what? What was the last time you played Jack Lambert? 40 years ago? 50 years ago? Yeah. I mean, and I someone who I know, I'm, you know, yeah. 29 years old, who, Jack Lambert. Oh, yeah, duh. Legends never die. Legends absolutely never die. Especially 84 when, was the last time. I was three. 83. I was negative when 10. you retired. I was negative 10. <laughs> Alright. I was. <laughs> Negative 10. Uh-huh. Uh. I'm not that young, man. I'm, I'm approaching 30 this year, so... I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Rodney Harrison. All right, guys, do a quick rundown. See what we have on the break page right now. We close out that Can't Miss series with Austin and Daniel taking home the rep helmets. Nice job by them. Let's go to the break page, see where we're at. Let's get a refresh in here. Here we go. All righty. Here is the black and blue. We have a quad box up. We got dub double up. We have singles up. Black and blue. DK Metcalf, Saquon Barkley, that Broncos triple sign. It is Terrell Davis, Rod Smith, and Ed McCaffrey. The Debo Samuel, the Tyreek Hill. That Tyreek Hill helmet looks absolutely sweet. Debo on the flash, that Hill. Black and blue mixer, guys. Secondary headliner available. Chris Carter. Hey, we already pulled Anthony Carter. We already pulled Justin Jefferson. Can we pull another? Great Vikings receiver today? Who knows? Here is... Did we sell out the... Maybe that's not just up there, but here's the diamonds, guys. Here are the diamonds. Troy Palomalu, Adrian Peterson, Steve Young, CeeDee Lamb, Troy Aikman. What a loaded list right there. Look at that Troy Palomalu. Absolutely sick helmet. One of the best safeties of all time. Look at that Cowboys. Looks like a retro Cowboys Nice, C.D. Lamb. What a great year he had. 135 catches this previous year for C.D. Lamb. One of the best running backs of all time. Adrian Peterson on that Vikings flash helmet. Absolutely sick. And there is the Troy Aikman flash Cowboys. Beautiful helmet. Steve Young, Lunar. Secondary headliner. Another Niner, George Kittle. Hey, if you're a Niner fan, get in the double diamond. You get George Kittle and Steve Young, maybe in the same break. Mm. That's the way to play it right there. For all my Niners fans out there, here is the can't miss. Uh, can't miss. We close that out. That one is done. One and four, guys. This is the one. My favorite series in the room is always the one and four, Brandon, because I love sports, but I also love entertainment. I love music. I love wrestling. This is a series where you're going to see all of that. Football, baseball, basketball, hockey. Where's all my hockey fans at? We have some hockey stuff in here. We got the king. Henrik Lundqvist and the Yager, Yamin Yager. But this series still loaded. Allie Rushman, Mike Trout, Ronald Acuna for my baseball fans. Come on. Where are you guys at? I'm looking at the football. We have a Dak Prescott Authentic. A Dak Authentic in the secondary headliners. Clyde Drexler, Trevor Hoffman, Tony Parker, former NBA champion on the Spurs. Tony Parker. I love this one in four, Brandon. I do too. Mm -hmm. I'm with it. Awesome series right there. Here's the jerseys, guys. A lot of names left in the jerseys as well. The bus, Jerome Bettis, Antonio Gates. Two guys we pulled already today. Bettis and Gates. Can we pull them in the jerseys? Jason Taylor on that throwback Dolphins jersey. One of the best jerseys out there for that throwback. Michael Vick, the human joystick. Debo Samuel. Brandon's guy, DJ Moore. He's going to have a big year next year no matter who's his quarterback. Warren Sapp on the Bucks. Secondary headliners, Corey Dillon, Ricky Waters, and Mercury Morris. From the 72 Dolphins. Here's the minis, guys. We have 20 minis left. Headliners available. Trayvon Diggs, Justin Jefferson, DJ Moore, Ray Lewis. Secondary headliners. Michael Vick, George Pickens, Chris Johnson. Excuse me. Michael Vick, George Pickens. There we go. So, anything closed out, Brandon? No. All right. So we will do that chase for the diamonds. 
This is perfect because it gives plenty of time to get everything ready for the next show. We have a new series for that practice squad coming up for you guys. We'll get that ready. We'll get this chase. I believe it's only going to be Matthew and Kate, uh, Cassie in that chase. Yep, twice. It was a double. Thank you, Brandon. All right, guys, you know the drill. Top name. Top name after seven clicks in the randomizer. You get a shot at the wheel. Up to $100. An awesome autographic gift card. Moolah. Here we go. Final click. It's going to be Matthew. Matthew's going to get a spin at the wheel. Here we go. Matthew, if you're in the chat, let me know. Any specific number. You want me to start you out for the wheel? Or do you want me to just start you at one? I'll give you a couple seconds. If not, I'll just spin it at one. There you go. Last break of the show. Got to get the chase in. Hate to close the show out without a chase. So shout out to Matthew. Shout out to Cassie. The diamond double. Getting in twice, too. Yeah. Give Matthew 10 more seconds. If not, we'll just spin at one. And see how much money he's getting. Ultimate autograph, gift card. Cash money. You ever watch a show, Yo Mama? Yo Mama? No. Oh, uh, MTV. It was just like a show. It was hosted by Fez from that 70s show. And it would be like random people, and they will just like try to just make jokes about each other. Yo Mama jokes. Really? And the cash prize was just like $100. Cash money. It's <laughs> just like you're going on a show just that someone talked bad about you and your like family for $100. That's funny. That is, but I'll spin this. For who's going to win that cash money? We're going to see how much Matthew's going to win. Here we go, Matthew. Good luck. Ew. Not great. <laughs> he said not great. $6 for Matthew. $6 for Matthew. Hey, sometimes... It, it happens. It happens Matthew. sometimes. It's the wheel. It's the wheel. So six Blame the wheel. But hey. But Matthew's got two wins, though. He's got Ronnie Harrison and Jack Lambert, though, so... That's true. He's got two great helmets coming his way. So, from us, from the noon show, we will be back in 58 minutes with a practice squad. Right, Brandon? We have yeah. a new practice squad for you guys. 58 minutes. Thank you for tuning in. We will be back 3 p.m. Central Time. Same Ultimate Autograph channel, same Ultimate Autograph time. We'll be back, guys. See you in an hour.